Hey, everybody Ann here, sitting outside the chicken yard today, having my coffee with all of you. Um, it is a sunny day. The temperature is going to be mild. Uh, the reason why I'm sitting out right where I'm at is because the puppies, puppies, dogs, all over the neighborhood, um, it's multiple properties, are getting in here. They're not hurting the chicken, like I said, but they're tearing up my yard, so... Um, I'm just going to have to sit out here and teach them not to do that. Um, I'm using my, see that? That's a new little microphone, so I don't know if it's working better or if it's not working. Um, but I'm going to give it a try. These next clips, I'm going to show you the chickens. I, I, I'm not going to put the, the microphone on with it. I probably should, but, you know, um, I don't think I will just because it's got a big long cord. But I just did want to test it out for this little section. <laughs> so yeah, here, let's go take a look at the chickens. I just listened to that section that I recorded with my microphone and I didn't like it. Um, it didn't record, it didn't sound nice. It didn't sound nice at all. I don't know if there's different settings I need to do or something, but it sounded kind of like um, distorted to me. You guys tell me. Anyhow, let's look at the chickens. Here's Mama. She's got quite a bit of the feathers on her lower back. And almost all of the feathers are back up on top of her head. I got her out free range and she still likes to roost up in the little coop over there. Uh, Patsy goes in there with her. Roxy is now back in the van. But she's doing much better. This guy here, Romeo. His eye is starting to open up. Can you see that? That's his bad eye. I guess there was an eye in there after all. I wish I could get closer to him, but um, I just got some eye lubricant that I use for myself. It's very safe, sterile. I just dropped it down onto his eyelid and the next morning uh, the eye came open. The eye still looks pretty messed up and as does the rest of him but he's recovering and he's doing just fine. These roosters over here got in a horrible fight last night. Not Rocky too, but Fabio and Waldo. And uh, Fabio wouldn't get off of him. I actually had to take a stick and I had to use it to separate them and um, he still went after him. He had Waldo in this corner down on the ground so I scooped him up and I put him in the coop. It was about an hour before roosting time so I don't know I think Fabio was just looking for a mate and thought maybe Waldo would be a good mate. Um, he, they're both okay and they seem okay today but I'm gonna have to watch them really closely just before dusk because that's when the roosters get pretty randy. Um, yeah, so that was pretty disturbing, pretty distressful. I will be giving away these three roosters. I don't know to who, but I'm currently <laughs> looking for homes for them. I would love to keep that rooster just for to try and breed them, you know, and get more barred rock hens, but if I hatch out my own eggs, I'm just going to end up with more roosters, and you know what? I, I'm just over that. I, I think I'm really just over that. The rest of these chickens have been getting along pretty well. They've been getting along pretty well with Patsy, um, pretty well with Roxy, and I just keep this open all the time. There's no sense in me closing it because the puppies have been getting in. I had a puppy in the rooster pen today, couldn't get out. I had to try and find a way to get it out without letting the roosters out. Finally got the puppy out. Um, hey Splash! So this yard is just going to go back to being the free ranger's flock and eventually I will have all of the chickens up in the van. This yard here is going to be completely deconstructed. Um, I have the Easter eggers penned up right now just because puppies got into the pen and would not leave. Just tearing stuff up and I didn't want Torch to get out again. This whole flock is going to be gifted to somebody, Lena from Red Roan Homestead. It's going to pick them all up on Tuesday. I'm going to see if I can help her clip their wings. But for now, just for their safety, um, yeah, they're all just going to stay in here. I'll miss these pretty girls, but, you know, I don't think anybody's going to want to take a rooster 
and no hens, so she's going to get all of the hens as well. Miss Pris is back to her pre-broody gorgeous self. I'm just going to hope and pray she doesn't go broody again this spring. I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to hold my breath, though. But, uh, yeah, so Mama has been laying me an egg about every other day, and she's just doing really great. Um, here's a better picture of her. See that? Her back is getting much better. She, she had almost no feathers on her back and no feathers up by her head. But I've been um, increasing her protein and it's coming back. She's gaining her confidence. She's getting back to her old Spitfire self. Uh, the black chicken still chase her around, but that's to be expected. I'm just glad that she's going to be okay. Just look at these pretty chickens. I'm glad they've accepted Roxy back. I don't know what the roosting situation is like, but she definitely wants to be up in that band. So that's okay. There's Romeo. He's watching over him. Everybody is happy. It is weird weather. Yeah, I'm out here. I'm in a short sleeve t-shirt sitting out in the sun. Watching my chickens, everything is peaceful. I've got my dogs locked in the yard. I know I said I didn't want to do that, but I just need some peace <laughs> just for a little while. Um, and when they get out, they invite all the dogs in the neighborhood over. So um, I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five eggs so far. Um, Mama has not laid an egg yet. And I thinks she wants to lay up in the van, but they keep chasing her out, so who knows what's going to happen with that, but uh, I feel like I'm getting back to my old self. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Um, the Easter eggers are going to be taken care of. I'll figure something out for the roosters. Um, in the meantime, I did go ahead and, well, I put some, here, let me just show you. I know this looks terrible, but... You know, I figured I've got it, I might as well use it. Um, I haven't even really secured it yet. I can drill some holes and secure it to the stakes. But this was the main entry point for the other dogs in the neighborhood. They were getting in up underneath of here. Now, I know that they can still dig, but maybe if they just don't see anything in there, maybe they will just not go in, I'm hoping. Yeah, look at that big old Fabio. He's huge. He is a huge rooster. Who oh, is that in there? Oh, that is Splash. She's been coming in and out of here all morning, squawking up a storm. I wish you would just go ahead and do it. Yeah, I did go ahead and put this nesting box in here. They weren't laying in it before because it was facing out this way. Woo! Noisy. So I put it this way, and there's already three eggs in it. Come on, go on up in there. Do your thing, girlfriend. Ah. Come on, chicken. So who knows what the roosting situation is going to be like tonight. I know, I know Roxy will go into the van. Um, if Roxy and Patsy go in the van, I'm going to have to scoop up Mama and put her in the van too because I'm not leaving her in a coop all by herself. She needs the, the warmth of the other chickens to stay warm herself, especially since she doesn't have all of her feathers back. Ugh, I got the puppies out with me. <laughs> and this boy, Sonny, oh, he just, he just loved to get his loves. Look at that face. Oh my gosh, Papa has been acting like he just wants some alone time, so he's getting some alone time. Look at this sweet baby. Yeah, that's probably Splash. Oh, Junior, no. Junior, no. Good boy. Good boy. Come here. See there. They're going to learn eventually, and hopefully they'll quit inviting the whole neighborhood into my chicken yards. Oh, you... You are the best. You're just sweet. You are. I think it's time to check for eggs. You notice I'm walking in here and there's no netting. Yeah, I'm not going to build another chicken yard ever again if I have to put netting over the top because basically I was just crawling around bent over for days. 
and that's not ever fun. So let's see here. I bet not. I don't think there are any eggs back in here anywhere. No? Hi, beauty. <laughs> but they sure love getting in here and kicking things around. No, nope, no eggs. Oh, look at that. Somebody didn't like those eggs in there, so she kicked them out. There was three. One, two, three. And that's it for there. Yep, just the two original ones in there. Let's look in here. Oh, doesn't look like it. Let's see, girls. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, there's one all the way in that corner. I don't know. I might like need to look around in this bedding to see if there's any more. Nope, just one. But it's not even 3 p.m., so I may get a couple more eggs. But their eggs are getting bigger, so hopefully these girls... Let's see, look at that one. <laughs> He's been wearing her out. Hopefully they'll lay plenty of nice big green eggs for Miss Lena when she comes to pick them up on Tuesday. That's not too bad for winter time. Like I said, I may still get a couple more today, but I'll just go back and check right before I put them up for the night. The sun is starting to go down. I've been chasing the sun, <laughs> moving my chair, and it's really helped me sitting out here supervising, telling doggies, no, don't do that, stay out of there, blah, blah, blah. So that's just what I'm going to have to do to make sure that, um, you know, hopefully this whole stressful yard thing won't keep happening. Anyhow, yeah, so I'm just going to chill out for a little while longer. Hopefully it'll remain peaceful. And, um, well, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. You can now join me on Rumble, where I talk about current events, politics, and other thoughts on weighty subjects. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.